I'm Ever Cho, um, showing us the new Scott Red Gold. Hello, how is everyone doing? Uh, we have a product here now called SkyTrack. It's a uh, $2,000 launch monitor. It's photometric based, which means it takes multiple images uh, of the golf ball in flight, and from there gets five key parameters, ball speed, uh, launch angle, vertical launch angle, horizontal launch angle, uh, spin, and in spin we break that up into backspin and side spin. Um, Can you show us the app? Uh, yes. So, oh, first of all, let me show you the unit. Yeah. This is the unit. It's very lightweight. It's almost like a hard drive. The cameras are here. Uh, what's great about this unit is uh, there's a laser that shows you exactly where to place the ball. It uh, has a battery life of about five and a half hours. And this is all you need in an iPad. You just take it out to the golf course or uh, in your home environment. That's the safety cradle also. Can I show us to that, yes. please? I will uh, show you the app. So this is our, our we have, we're currently on iOS. We're working on Android and a Windows app in the future. Uh, but the iOS app is now available through the uh, Apple App Store. Uh, we have two different uh, uh, practice modes. Uh, the first one is a driving range, and the second one is challenges. So we have a long drive, closest to pin, and targets. In this case, let me uh, actually, I'm going to start a new session, uh, exit session, take it from the beginning. Hold on one second. Okay. So here's the first screen. I can select practice or challenges. We're going to practice. We will be adding shortly, uh, we have a relationship now with World Golf Tour, if you're familiar with their high-res courses. So you'll have a low-cost simulator using World Golf Tour and all their high-res 17 courses. You can transfer the picture to Apple TV? Yes, yes. So this is just, you know, just like any other app, you can actually, we have it either through a uh, lightning to HDMI cable if you want to tether or directly through Apple TV. Okay. So, so I'm going to go. Um, security cradle and the SkyTrack Golf unit itself. You see that the security cradle here is more or less protecting the, the, the whole system. So you can put it in either easy like that and then it's positioned very easily. So it's totally protected. And working with the gas. Here we go. So I'll show you this is the driving range view. Okay. Uh, going through the bottom parameters, we have launch angle, backspin, ball speed. You have the ability to select your, your club if you'd like to tag each shot with which club you're hitting. Club speed, side spin, and side angle. And this gives you the visual offline from the top down. And this gives you your summary of total distance carrying your average through all your so shots. Everything else in metric data. Uh, yeah, right now this is all Imperial. Uh, we will be releasing shortly in Europe and we'll have uh, metric as well. That's just a, a, a user interface change that we have to make. Because usually people use metric for distances, but the Imperial system for ball speed and something e like that. Exactly. And, and uh, that's just a user interface change that will be in our, uh, I believe, 1.9 release, which will be next month. Okay. Okay. Um, I can also... This, the this, app is for free? The uh, app comes with the hardware for free. Okay. Uh, we also have a numeric display. So this gives you all your, all your data right at your fingertips. Or we can go back uh, to our... Um, or just go back to our uh, driving range view. If I want to go and hit another shot, oh, well, I'll just reanimate it. So when I take a shot with this uh, club, it then displays the ball tracer and then provides the, the, the summary data. What's the big advantage against the GC2 versus four sides balls like? <laughs> uh, cost the is one. Uh, the uh, our GC2 is, I think, around 7,000. Um, the GC has, I would say, higher end cameras. Um, and it probably captures more uh, sets of images. Um, let's see. As far as. But the main I mean, reason is the price. It detects the price. I think price is the, uh, the big, big reason. <laughs> Joe, thank you very much for the information. Thank you. Nice to meet you, guys.